Jonathan had never encountered this homeless youth before, yet from their first interaction, he felt an undeniable draw towards him. At first, Jonathan couldn't identify the cause of his attraction, but his perspective shifted dramatically when he noticed a birthmark on the boy's palm, identical to his own. This revelation urged Jonathan to explore further, though he would soon wish he hadn't unearthed the truth. Feeling uncertain about what to do next, Jonathan was at a loss for words. The boy had yet to speak, and the sight of the identical birthmarks on their palms, positioned in the same location, was overpowering. The idea of a connection seemed far-fetched. Moreover, the boy bore a slight resemblance to Jonathan, despite never having children, as his life had centered around accumulating wealth rather than raising a family. Jonathan sensed a deep bond with the boy, driven by a need to know more. Jonathan sat next to the boy, who introduced himself as Joey. Joey shared that he had been living on the streets for several months after escaping an abusive foster home. As Jonathan listened carefully, he couldn't escape the feeling that Joey was concealing something. Even when asked about the birthmark, Joey maintained he had no idea of its origin, stating it was a natural mark that couldn't be removed. Joey's precarious situation awakened a protective instinct in Jonathan, although he had never before desired a family. He now found himself eager to adopt Joey. He imagined bequeathing his legacy to someone when his time came, which might be sooner than later due to a recent heart condition diagnosis. This health scare made Jonathan painfully aware of his mortality and led him to reassess his priorities, resolved to impact Joey's life positively. Jonathan decided to take the boy under his care offering him a chance at a stable and nurturing home. This choice signified a new beginning for both as they embarked on a journey of mutual discovery and the creation of an unforeseen familial bond, aware that his time could end unexpectedly. Jonathan dreaded the idea of his accumulated wealth being squandered by opportunists and diminished by taxes. He did not wish for such an end and viewed his meeting with Joey as a fortuitous chance given by fate, an opportunity he was compelled to embrace. Thus. He invited Joey to visit the local adoption agency and complete the necessary paperwork. Jonathan had initially braced himself for a rigorous and lengthy procedure, especially as an older, single man looking to adopt a young child, circumstances that might not be readily accepted by the authorities. Yet, his significant financial resources and societal influence played a crucial role in smoothing the process. Additionally, Joey's status as a homeless child left him with few alternatives. Making the adoption not only timely but essential, Joey, for his part, showed a keenness to go with Jonathan, a choice clearly preferable to his previous life on the streets. However, Joey had also revealed a history of fleeing from various foster homes, suggesting a deep-rooted distrust of adults. Despite this, he seemed genuinely interested in staying with Jonathan, who chose not to delve too deeply into the boy's past at that moment, once the adoption was finalized. Jonathan intended to explore Joey's previous experiences and the underlying causes of his mistrust. Their first encounter occurred while Jonathan was finishing his weekly grocery shopping. As they headed back to his car, Jonathan wondered why he had never noticed Joey in the area before. Joey shared that he had only recently started frequenting this location, having moved around the city before. Often, his presence prompted calls to the police, not for his arrest but from concerned bystanders wanting to ensure his safety, which usually made him leave those areas. As they exited the parking garage, Jonathan saw Joey looking intently out the car window, even waving at someone, intrigued. Jonathan tried to see what had caught Joey's attention but saw nothing. When questioned, a somewhat embarrassed Joey claimed he was just waving. This interaction prompted Jonathan to think about the complexity of Joey's emotions and history. Acknowledging that there was still much to learn about the boy who was soon to be his son, earlier that day, a couple had offered Jonathan financial support. Although skeptical of the boy's full story, Jonathan felt it inappropriate to probe further. With more questions arising, Jonathan sensed a mild unease. Something was off, but he couldn't quite figure out what. In the days to follow, more details about Joey's background would emerge, bringing to light unsettling truths, surprisingly. The adoption process for Joey was more straightforward than Jonathan had expected. His next step was simply to begin Joey's adoption process. Several documents were to be completed, and a consultation with an expert who was scheduled to arrive soon was necessary. This specialist would evaluate the household environment and dynamics to decide whether Joey's adoption could go forward. Upon the expert's approval, Joey would be officially welcomed into Jonathan's family. Despite the procedure's apparent simplicity, 
Jonathan experienced mixed feelings of hope and anxiety. The early days of Joey's arrival were marked by excitement and the establishment of new routines. Jonathan, who had always yearned for a family, felt a deep satisfaction from the simple acts of caring for Joey. He introduced Joey to his favorite meals, showed him around their home, and they began a nightly tradition of reading stories together, despite potential difficulties ahead. Jonathan remained optimistic about their future together, however, Joey's behavior began to shift, it started with small pranks such as hiding Jonathan's items and startling him by jumping out from behind doors. At first, Jonathan viewed these behaviors as Joey's way of adjusting and testing limits, but as the pranks became more frequent and disruptive, Jonathan's amusement turned to worry. He tried to address the issues calmly with Joey. But the boy only responded with a playful grin and offered no explanations. Jonathan noticed that Joey's pranks often occurred when he was most relaxed or caught off guard. One evening, while Jonathan was cooking, Joey snuck up behind him and shouted, causing Jonathan to flinch and nearly cut himself, trying to stay calm. Jonathan sat Joey down to discuss the importance of safety and respect. However, Joey's answers were evasive, and he avoided making eye contact. Reflecting his reluctance to engage, Joey's troubling behavior escalated. One night, Jonathan woke to find Joey silently standing by his bed in the dark, staring at him. This deeply disturbed Jonathan, who became increasingly concerned about Joey's mental and emotional well-being. He considered seeking professional advice, pondering if the trauma Joey had endured in foster care was now influencing his actions. Hesitant to confront Joey and potentially disturb him further so soon after his arrival, Jonathan was torn. Despite his efforts to create a nurturing and stable home, Joey's unpredictable actions began to strain their relationship, leaving Jonathan constantly on edge and unsure of what to expect next. Jonathan reminisced about the initial days following Joey's arrival, filled with a fresh sense of hope and connection. However, now the atmosphere was heavy with a palpable, oppressive tension. One quiet morning, Jonathan found an unsettling silence greeting him. Joey was missing. His room was in perfect order, with everything in its usual place, including a neatly made bed. A sense of dread engulfed Jonathan as he searched the home, calling Joey's name to no response. It dawned on him that Joey might have run away, sparking a whirlwind of panic and confusion. Fueled by fear and concern, Jonathan promptly initiated a search. He canvassed the neighborhood, inquired with locals about any sightings of a lone young boy and visited familiar spots like the local park and the nearby convenience store. Despite his thorough efforts, all leads seemed to disappear, exacerbating Jonathan's distress and leaving him with more questions than answers. As evening approached and the day waned, the silence in Jonathan's home became nearly suffocating. Each corner seemed to echo Joey's absence, from the untouched toys to the empty dinner chair, and Joey's favorite book left abandoned on the couch. These poignant reminders stirred a mix of fear and regret in Jonathan, leading him to wonder if he had missed any signs that might explain Joey's abrupt departure. The days stretched into agonizing periods without any news from Joey. Jonathan's initial panic transformed into deep anxiety. He contacted the police, distributed flyers throughout the neighborhood, and held on to hope for any information that could lead him to Joey. Sleepless nights were spent racked with guilt and worry. While his days were consumed by anxious anticipation of a phone call that might reunite them, unexpectedly, a week later, Joey returned. He appeared on the doorstep one evening, looking disheveled and exhausted, overwhelmed with relief and full of questions. Jonathan embraced him tightly before inquiring about his whereabouts. Joey's answers were vague. He spoke of wandering and needing some time alone but refrained from providing specific reasons for his disappearance. This evasiveness only intensified Jonathan's growing list of concerns. In the days after Joey's return, Jonathan began to notice that certain items were missing from their home. Initially, it was just small things, but these discoveries added another layer of worry to his already troubled mind. Jonathan owned a collection of rarely worn watches and some cherished old coins. Over time, he realized that these items were slowly disappearing, at first. He brushed off these losses as mere misplacements, however, as more items went missing, a discernible pattern emerged that was hard to overlook. Each time he discovered something was missing, he felt a wave of unease, yet he was reluctant to jump to conclusions. A disturbing suspicion began to form in Jonathan's mind. Could Joey, the boy he had taken into his home, be responsible for these disappearances? 
this suspicion felt like a betrayal of the trust he had attempted to establish with Joey. But the coincidences were too pronounced to dismiss. Jonathan found himself conflicted, unwilling to believe that the boy he had welcomed could be behind these acts. The possibility that Joey was stealing from him was difficult for Jonathan to accept. Jonathan recognized a correlation between Joey's moods and the timing of the disappearances. These insights were painful, stirring a whirlwind of emotions inside him. He wanted to trust Joey, to have faith in him. But the accumulating evidence was increasingly difficult to overlook or rationalize. Jonathan's heart was torn between his affection for Joey and the suspicions that now clouded his thoughts. He found himself observing Joey more intently, searching for any signs or admissions, yet Joey seemed unaware of his scrutiny. This internal conflict was exhausting, leaving Jonathan feeling guilty for his doubts yet alert for more signs of deceit. His once tranquil home now felt like a place of silent accusations and concealed truths. The atmosphere in the house became progressively tense. Each day appeared to bring about the loss of another item. No matter how small or trivial, Jonathan attempted to maintain some normalcy, but the growing list of missing items cast a shadow over their everyday lives. He considered confronting Joey but was held back by the fear of potential consequences. The home that was intended to be a sanctuary now seemed enveloped in mystery and mistrust. Jonathan began to notice cars he didn't recognize parked near his home at unusual hours. Initially, he assumed it was coincidental, but as these occurrences became more frequent, they grew more unsettling. Each time he glanced through the curtains, there seemed to be a different car, with its occupants either hidden or absent. The added layer of scrutiny from the upcoming evaluation only compounded the already tense atmosphere enveloping his home. The feeling that he was constantly being observed grew stronger around Jonathan's residence. He noticed shadows shifting just outside his peripheral vision and felt eyes upon him each time he ventured outdoors. This escalating paranoia began to dominate his thoughts. Every unexpected noise sounded like a whisper, and each passerby seemed like a potential observer. The overwhelming sensation of being under surveillance was stifling leading him to question his every move and choice. As Jonathan's distress increased, he felt pursued every time he left his dwelling. He adopted alternate paths to his regular stops in an effort to evade the disturbing sensation of being monitored. His home, once a sanctuary, had morphed into a maze of suspicion and trepidation, undermining the foundation of trust and safety he had intended to establish with Joey. Jonathan noticed the same vehicles repeatedly following him, reinforcing the unyielding sense of pursuit. This perpetual observation kept him in a state of constant vigilance, always looking over his shoulder. Routine activities such as shopping for groceries, filling his car with fuel, or going for a jog became fraught with anxiety and dread. Jonathan became increasingly aware of unfamiliar individuals loitering near his home. He spotted certain people who seemed to linger excessively. Their gazes unsettlingly fixed on his boat. On occasion, when he approached these strangers, they offered only vague explanations or departed swiftly, further amplifying his feelings of exposure and vulnerability. The safety and comfort his home once offered were now greatly compromised. As the feeling of being watched intensified, Jonathan's mental health began to decline. Sleep became elusive, often disrupted by nightmares featuring indistinct figures and ambiguous threats. His days were consumed with tracking the movements around his home, carefully noting unfamiliar vehicles and faces. This continuous state of alert exhausted him both emotionally and physically, creating a noticeable tension that even Joey, his foster son, could perceive but not completely comprehend. With the impending visit of the adoption expert, Jonathan grappled with mixed feelings. His increasing doubts about Joey's behavior and the strange happenings around the house weighed heavily on him. He wanted to trust the boy he had welcomed into his home, but suspicion and fear clouded his judgment. The prospect of discussing these concerns with the expert filled him with dread. On the eve of the expert's visit, Jonathan dedicated several hours to preparation, oscillating between optimism and worry. He tidied and arranged his home meticulously, aiming to showcase a stable and affectionate family setting. Despite these efforts, he was plagued by inner conflict. Caught between his eagerness to finalize the adoption and his concerns about the potential hazards, he practiced his answers carefully, pondering the best way to articulate the intricate circumstances without unnecessarily casting doubt on Joey. As the day of the visit dawned, Jonathan welcomed the adoption expert with a rehearsed smile, though he was visibly tense. He gave her a tour of his home and responded to her inquiries regarding his lifestyle and his plans for Joey. 
hoping his sincere intention to offer Joey a nurturing home was apparent despite his inner turmoil. In the course of their conversation, the expert disclosed a shocking detail. There were no records indicating that Joey had ever been in foster care. This disclosure hit Jonathan profoundly. Throwing his thoughts into disarray as he struggled to align this new piece of information with his experiences since Joey had come into his life, the lack of records cast a more ominous light on his suspicions, transforming his mild doubts into a significant dread. The expert's startling announcement left him stunned, trying to comprehend the ramifications of this unnerving news. Jonathan was overwhelmed with questions. Who is Joey, really? What was the reality behind his sudden presence in Jonathan's life? This troubling discovery jeopardized the delicate relationship he had built with the boy and overshadowed their potential future together. Driven by the absence of any foster care records for Joey, Jonathan felt compelled to conduct a thorough investigation. He reached out to various agencies and foster care systems in hopes of uncovering any details of Joey's history. Each inquiry, however, only led to more bewilderment and dead ends. The absence of information was perplexing and raised significant concerns about Joey's origins and the narrative he had shared with Jonathan, as his efforts to find answers yielded no results. Jonathan began to doubt everything Joey had told him, the tales of his life before they met, his foster care experiences, all of it now seemed dubious. Jonathan's trust, once offered so generously, was now overshadowed by skepticism and incredulity. He found himself struggling to make sense of the situation, feeling deceived and manipulated by the absence of verifiable information. Compelled by his growing suspicions, Jonathan decided to confront Joey. He directly questioned Joey about his alleged foster care background and the discrepancies in his narrative. Taken aback by these pointed inquiries, Joey stumbled in his answers, offering only vague and insufficient explanations that further fueled Jonathan's suspicions and aggravation. As Jonathan persistently sought the truth, the tension within the home escalated dramatically, Joey's justifications became less and less credible, aggravating Jonathan's exasperation to the point of boiling over. What was once a peaceful household now transformed into a field of verbal conflict, filled with accusations and denials. Joey's failure to provide straightforward answers intensified the discord, leading to heightened voices and a tangible strain in their relationship. In response to the unyielding interrogation, Joey grew defensive, he began to refute all accusations, including those facts previously confirmed. His panic and desperation to cling to his fabricated story were palpable. The situation deteriorated quickly as Joey's denials grew more stubborn and Jonathan's insistence on uncovering the truth intensified. The trust that had once united them was now eclipsed by mutual doubt and apprehension. During the peak of their heated dispute, Joey made a sudden dash for the door, aiming to flee the intense scrutiny. Reacting instinctively, Jonathan chased after him and caught him by the arm just as he was about to exit. The ensuing struggle was short yet fierce, with Joey striving to escape and Jonathan determined to keep him there to confront the reality they both needed to address. Returning to the living room, Jonathan and Joey confronted one another with their emotions laid bare. The atmosphere was heavy with tension as Jonathan demanded truth, his voice tinged with both anger and desperation. Trapped and overwhelmed, Joey answered with a blend of defiance and fear. Their exchange exposed the deep rifts in their relationship, setting the stage for a critical showdown that would challenge the limits of their connection. The tension that had been simmering for weeks finally exploded. Accusations flew as Jonathan tried to extract the truth from Joey's elusive and fragmented responses. Joey's every denial only heightened Jonathan's frustration, leading to sharper inquiries. The room echoed with a tumult of loud voices and clashing perspectives, yet the continued ambiguity only deepened the confusion, acknowledging that the situation was escalating beyond his control. Jonathan took the difficult step of calling the police. His hands shook as he made the call. Conflicted between his worry for Joey and the urgent need for external help, as he waited for the police to arrive, he was overwhelmed by a deep sense of failure and helplessness, diminishing the hope he once felt for their future together. Upon their arrival, the police were met with a turbulent emotional scene. Jonathan, visibly exhausted and upset, tried to explain the complex issues at hand, while Joey, though looking resentful, was surprisingly cooperative. The officers, skilled in handling sensitive situations, started by interviewing Jonathan and Joey separately to grasp the underlying issues and decide on an appropriate response. In the aftermath of the confrontation, the police launched a detailed investigation into Joey's background. They scrutinized records, 
interviewed possible witnesses, and followed up on every clue with precision, their systematic efforts were aimed at clarifying the inconsistencies in Joey's account. Providing Jonathan with a glimmer of hope to discover the obscured truth, as the investigation unfolded, it revealed the layers of deception surrounding Joey. It became clear that much of what Joey had told Jonathan was made up, the more the police investigated, the more Joey's constructed story fell apart, unveiling shocking truths about his actual history. With each discovery, Jonathan felt a mix of betrayal and sorrow, grieving over the trust he had misplaced in someone he thought he knew. The situation took a dramatic turn when the police found Joey with his real parents. Jonathan was stunned by this revelation. He had been misled into believing Joey was an orphan. This finding unearthed a more complex scheme involving Joey's biological parents, who had entangled Jonathan in a plot crafted with lies and manipulation to take advantage of his kindness and wealth. The scale of the deceit left Jonathan devastated. As more details of the deception emerged, Jonathan faced a painful milestone in his experiences, each piece of information eroding the remnants of trust and leaving him profoundly deceived. He came to understand the full scope of the conspiracy against him, as he pieced together the complex layers of a plot crafted with extreme care, this discovery revealed a degree of deceit and manipulation that left him completely astonished, confronting the harsh truth that he had been deliberately targeted and exploited in such a ruthless way was a tough realization to come to terms with, deeply shaking his core trust and belief in others, under rigorous interrogation by the police. Joey's biological parents eventually admitted to their intricate plot, they disclosed how they invented Joey's backstory and played on Jonathan's emotions to tap into his fortune, their confessions were thorough and unsettling, showing the lengths they had gone to in deceiving Jonathan, this admission signaled a pivotal moment in the investigation, highlighting the deliberate nature of their fraud, during the questioning, Joey's parents elaborated on their plot. They explained how they fabricated the story of Joey being an orphan and coached him to act in a manner that would tug at Jonathan's heartstrings. Their strategy was to use Joey as a means to access Jonathan's wealth, taking advantage of his compassionate nature and his longing for a family. The sheer calculation behind their actions was a shocking disclosure. Jonathan, upon discovering the full magnitude of the plot against him, experienced a profound sense of betrayal. Learning that Joey's adoption was merely a ploy to reach his assets broke his trust, the realization that his sincere care and love had been exploited for monetary gain was a devastating blow, leaving him to deal with the emotional repercussions of this deceit. As the investigation unfolded, the entire network of lies constructed by Joey's parents was revealed, leaving Jonathan heartbroken, the depth of their deceit, down to the minute details of Joey's life showed a disturbing level of dishonesty, Jonathan found it difficult to accept that his relationship with Joey, which he had valued deeply, was founded on lies and hidden agendas, following their confessions, Joey's real parents and their accomplices were charged for their roles in the conspiracy, the full disclosure of their actions prompted a quick reaction from the authorities, with charges including fraud, manipulation, and emotional exploitation being filed, for Jonathan. Although there was some comfort in seeing justice served, it did little to heal the emotional scars left by their betrayal. The true motive behind Joey's adoption was ultimately exposed, a meticulous plan driven by greed. Joey's parents had carefully orchestrated it, and the entire scheme was designed to target Jonathan for his wealth. Learning that the supposed random meeting and subsequent adoption were actually elements of a well-thought-out plot to financially exploit him left Jonathan shocked by the depth of the deceit and manipulation. Adding to the shock, Jonathan discovered that the birthmark on Joey's hand, which had seemed to cement their relationship, was in fact a tattoo. This discovery was profoundly unsettling as it represented the depth of the fraud, intensifying the emotional toll on Jonathan as he confronted the deep-seated betrayal. He had always viewed the birthmark as a sign of fate, a mysterious link that connected him to Joey. The painful truth that this unique mark was nothing but a manipulative ploy, designed to forge a false sense of bond and trust crushed him, the horrifying realization that Joey's parents had intentionally crafted their connection, centering around the birthmark, left Jonathan deeply broken, the relationship, once treasured, was now revealed to be a web of deceit, forcing Jonathan to wrestle with intense feelings of betrayal, this revelation not only made him question the genuineness of his connection with Joey but also his ability to trust others in the future, the complex fraud, executed by Joey's parents and their collaborators, was eventually uncovered and faced legal repercussions. 
they faced charges ranging from fraud to emotional manipulation. As the legal system promptly moved to hold them accountable, as the court cases progressed, Jonathan felt a mix of vindication and grief. Although justice was being served, it did little to heal the emotional scars from the betrayal. In the aftermath, Jonathan spent time reflecting on the entire situation. The transition from an optimistic prospective parent to the victim of a cruel scam had left him with deep emotional scars. He grappled with feelings of betrayal, anger, and sadness, yet, through this painful conclusion, Jonathan began to find a sense of determination. He realized that although the ordeal had left an indelible mark, it would not dictate his future. This traumatic experience, though devastating, initiated a transformative journey towards healing and redefining trust in his life. Do you have any thoughts after watching the above video? Tell us in the comments section. We'd like to hear your thoughts. That's for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.